All right, so it was a good thing I was checking my messages on Twitter, which I never do. Checking them, and I got a new message here about my ZAI video from yesterday about Claude Sonnet, and they gave me access to this new fast edit model. So I want to take this for a test drive and see what I think of it. So let's just hop over to Zed here. And the first thing to know, if you want to use the models that Zed is hosting, you have to come up and sign in to log into your Zed account. Once you've done that, then you can see in the upper right, I got my little icon here, which is necessary then to be able to access a new fast edit model. And it's right here, right below the other one from Zed. So Zed has these top two models here. They've got like a dark gray Anthropic logo, whereas the regular Anthropic logo you can see on these others here is not dark gray. So that's how you can tell the difference. It also says Zed on the end, though this one is too long to be able to see that. So here's the fast edit model. Here is the regular model. I want to start out with just using the regular model to make a change to my code here. So if I select this function here and I control enter, if I come over to my prompts here, I've got a prompt ready to go. I'll paste this in, that way I'm using the same prompt every time. So now when I run this, I'm asking it to modify my list of hosts here to add other prominent Git hosts. So let's go ahead and run this and just watch the speed. You can see there's a little flicker as it rewrites some of the existing code and then it inserts the new code. And overall that was incredibly fast, but watch what happens if I switch the models here. So I'll come over here to the dropdown, pick the second one, to confirm it's the right one, make sure I look in the upper right with fast edit here. All right, and then if I modify my prompt here, I can then regenerate here with return. Watch how fast this goes. You see, it didn't even look like it flickered there at the start with the existing code. Let's undo that and let's do that one more time here. You can see there's no flicker in this initial code. Watch if I flip this back then to the original model. This is the slower one. Watch the existing code. Watch how fast this happens. Get my mouse out of the way. You can see that flicker as it goes through each line of existing code. So that is one difference, and this may not be that noticeable. However, if instead of selecting the code to target, if I were to select everything inside of the entire file, this is a file with 180 lines of code, I can now hit Control Return here, come up to the top of the file. Let's paste in the same prompt. And in this case, this is a slow version. So watch how long this takes. Again, this is to do the entire file. All right, now you can see it's starting to scroll through here as it moves down line by line to replace the existing content and then eventually to get to the spot where it's gonna have to make changes, which would be way down here. Here we go. There'll be some changes here and here. So just watch for this. Wow, this is taking quite a bit of time. I mean, it's still incredibly fast to be able to do this and have it work. It's added some new host there, and it's still going to reach, there you go, it reached the end of the file. All right, so now if I come back up to the top here, in fact, I'm just gonna undo that, escape, I'll select everything again, control enter. All right, so now I'm reset, I can paste the prompt in again, flip over to the fast model, just confirm that over here, fast edit, watch how fast this goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, it's done. It took about three seconds to do the entire file. I bet it took 30 seconds with the slow model. So that is the difference between the fast and the slow models, especially when it comes to making changes to code, just how incredibly fast it can be to rewrite your existing code. And part of how this is working, if I can find the tweet about it, I think I had it down here. Yeah, I found the tweet here. All right, so this is the tweet I saw, and you can see here it's explaining that it's echoing input far faster than generating new text. So it sounds like when it is modifying the code, if the existing code is being spit out, it doesn't have to regenerate all of that through the model. Instead, it can just find a way to bypass and echo that out, and then it's only generating new code. And if you explain that to me, I don't know how you make that possible other than maybe you have a special prompt that can generate a diff instead of generating all of the new code. That would be my assumption. I don't know though. It doesn't sound like that's the implementation because they probably could have said that, but maybe it is. Anyways, this is just speculation on my part. Overall, I think it's incredibly cool. Let me do this one more time for you. Select everything in this file, control enter, paste in the prompt again. And then I'm gonna come down to the spot where the changes are gonna be made. Watch right here and right here, the two spots that are gonna be changed. Watch this go. I'll hit return. There you go. So you can see a temporary slowdown as it's making some changes to the code and then it speeds right back up.
All right, so last thing I want to do here, grab everything, control enter, paste in my prompt. This is the slow mode. I'm actually going to run a timer here. Wow, that's taking a while for that slower model to even begin to react. Oh, did it fail? That's weird. Let's just come back here and let's try again. Control enter, paste that in, reset my timer. Going, come on, man, there we go. End, go to the end of the file. All right, we'll wait for this to complete. We're running right now. Okay, about 34 seconds to redo that entire file. All right, now reset this. Now let's undo that, select everything, control enter, paste in the prompt. Let's flip over to the fast model. All right, so make sure I'm clicked up here. And I need to, in this case, I absolutely have to get to the bottom of the file because it'll happen so fast. Maybe we'll try and do this right here. Okay. Oh, wow. Yep, I got it on time. 2.71 seconds. So 38 versus 2. That's 14 times faster. That is incredible.